Welcome to the OSR's podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content creators. I'm Mimet Cow, one of your hosts, followed by. What's going on, boys? Rex as always. What's up, boys? Rice Cup here. Yeah, we got that deep voice, Rexy, now. It's much better. Much <laughs> better. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're, we're up, dude. This is what we do. This is what we do with the podcast. All of the millions of pounds that we make from it. We oh, upgrade yeah. our microphones. <laughs> it's it's going to happen to all of us, too, one day. We're going to have beautiful yeah, mics, one day. sound boxes. We're, we're saving for two people. ASMR every time. Uh, we yeah, actually. I mean, sorry, sorry. Go oh, I was just going to say, we actually tried to get a podcast out last week talking about Bounty Hunter, but then it came out. So we scrapped that. It was. <laughs> It was awkward yeah. timing, guys. Sorry. Yeah, the info was a little scuffed, too, so we have it figured out now. Well, we'll get into that later, but there was a lot of scuffed info, and they just kind of released it. Uh, but when I woke up on Twitter, OSR has posted that they were bought. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, here's the post here you know, on the web. So I just wake up to, we are pleased to confirm that Jagex is now under the new <clears throat> ownership of MacArthur Fortune Holding LLC. Can you imagine just, like, how often RuneScape gets traded to where you don't even blink when your game's traded? Yeah, once like, a year. It's right. a yearly yeah, well, tradition. When was, <laughs> when was it sold last? Was it last year? I feel yeah, like it was. Last year, last year yeah. by a Chinese mining company? No, I don't think that's right. Uh, Chinese. It was no, it was, it was a different one. That's another one. That okay. one's before. before. All right. Yeah. What are they mining? Are they mining Bitcoin? <laughs> no, it was like <laughs> probably actual Bitcoin. mining. But probably they, Bitcoin. They, they ran out of business, I think. So they were trying to invest in other companies to make money, but it didn't work. Here's a little part so that gets it. me to a global asset management company that shares our passion for games. What a sentence that is right there. A global asset management company. Does that mean they handle like people's money? Are they like a bank? Is that a bank thing? It's more like they, they help other companies invest and That's they're like gamers their... apparently so <laughs> yeah. i mean man who isn't a gamer in 2020 Dude. who who isn't a gamer for I mean, real. if you're not a gamer what are you doing you sitting in your house drawing i read like, i read on. this real quick though when i woke up and i thought it was bought by blizzard or like a gaming company but then i had to reread it oh. and it said i was like oh yeah. never mind Dude, then the the day that blizzard a rival mmo company buys old school is the uh -huh. day that the servers just get straight deleted the, man. The either end. deleted um, or better it's, it's the either end of mmo like diversity as you know it it's all gonna be wildcraft the like, game just disappears or it just becomes five times better in two weeks they, that's like it the, fir the first update they implement is just you can now ride your mount or your pets <laughs> you can ride your pets you just first see if people fly in varrock dude on their uh, I don't know, core pets. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I gotta be down for that just a little bit. I'm kind of tired of walking. Uh, but Rice I mean, Cup found us these websites that are they go more in depth than what uh, RuneScape linked us here. Because if you click on this link, I hope boobs aren't gonna pop up. Yeah, it just kind of takes us to a very small yeah. amount of information it kind of says that uh for 530 million through one of its funds blah 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 they bought it but then we got pocket gaming biz which i'm hoping is a really good news site i don't really look at news a lot online but it goes into more uh debt which one should we start out yeah, with it's just well we should probably read the one where they just talk about you know um how much they bought it what we already did but like and their goals because it's quote unquote from the main website Okay. So, so uh, yeah, I kind of kind of can't see it all, but there we go. But basically, they said Jagex, the combined strength of make all their fortune in Jagex will both support and enhance our strategic plan to to deliver great gaming experience to our communities of RuneScape players and build on our portfolio with more living games for a global audience. And then they said Jagex's management team coverage will remain intact. The, ad the asset management company aims to aid Jagex in attracting new players to RuneScape through marketing and uh, research and development investment. So this is pretty interesting because I think the previous uh, companies that bought Jagex, they, they didn't do anything. You know, they, they, had, they were basically uh, just, just investing the game, letting them do what they want and hope to make a return. And, but these guys, you know, they, uh, clearly they have a bit more you know is it different though is it 
is it actually different? Yeah. Or are they just trying to sell the sale? Because I don't know whether it's good salesmanship. Well, they never or said that before, though. What their other uh, yeah, that's the weird companies. part. They that's just what... said like, oh, well, we just you know this is normal. Like you know, companies get bought all the time, and we just got bought, so it's fine. Nothing's gonna change. But this time they said, okay, well, we got bought, and uh, this this company though is actually trying to help us, you know, with certain things. They said it'll help us. Uh, in, in attracting new players through marketing and research and development. Can you so they're actually being a bit more involved. Can you so imagine if like the CEO of the company that bought it is just a huge RuneScape nerd and has like no plans. He's just like, I really want to buy this company. <laughs> He's uh-huh. just like, I need it. And they're like, oh, he loves the company. He got a lot of plans. He's just like, nah, I just like RuneScape. I'm just, I just bought it. Yeah, I mean like this isn't super detailed, right? Because like research yeah. and development and marketing is still kind of broad. But I mean, this is definitely more involved like they're more involved with jagex than the other ones the other ones were they were just bought it and hoping that you know the jagex stocks or whatever would probably go up the earnings would go up and they get get a cut of it or whatever but yeah these guys obviously are gonna go for that as well because you know you're not gonna buy a company and not expect some how much of, you know, did it profit, sell right? for last time when they sold uh jagex oh shit that's that's gonna be a tough i mm. i don't know i kind of remember 370 but i don't remember yeah it was in the 100 millions definitely, definitely. Dude, dude dude all right something i want to clarify and understand here is like when we say when they last sold jagex like my interpretation is when the company oh. sold it's then mm-hmm. just owned by another group of people yeah right? yeah it's just owned by another group of people yeah, all so, the top and, staff changes and the bottom doesn't, pretty much. Like, yeah, the like the business side. Like, of say the if staff McDonald's was sold, all the little McDonald's would nothing would really happen. But like the top chain, you know, maybe like, oh, we're gonna put this on dollar menu. It's gonna be a little different, you know, kind of like that. Okay, so let me give you guys a quick, quick rundown of like the previous companies that bought it. So you have the link. So the, um, like they, there's a bunch of links, but this is stuff like, you know, that's not going to be BS because the names will sound familiar. So the, so the one that previously held, held Jagex was the, uh, Fukon Interactive Entertainment. It was another like Chinese Fukon. company. Fukon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one before was the mining company that you guys were okay. thinking about. Yeah. Um, and don't remember what the name was. Well, yeah. Fukon so you. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, oh man, it was it was just owned by a bunch of Chinese companies. Do we have while. the numbers though? Like, I want to know if they nah, made profit. They I mean, it will take a while because I have to go through all the links to find uh, the, you know the, what? the it, numbers. It, it, dude, it does so. scare me to think that RuneScape, the ownership of the game, is just being handed around by mm. big fucking millionaire companies. Yeah, like, that, that yeah. is quite a scary mm. thing to think about. I know that we can't even fathom our mm. lives without the game, but the reality mm. of it, the reality of it is. Is I know they wouldn't do it because it'd be stupid business, but there is literally nothing in place to stop the company that's just bought the game from just being like, okay, well, why aren't there microtransactions in this game? But there are in this one. Flood it. There's more yeah. players on there. Think about the profit margins. I'm not trying to scare people, but there is actually nothing that the people are old school at Jagex, the people that we know as the J mods, that could actually do anything about that. Oh, I yeah. really don't think there is. Like, what what do you guys think? I mean, imagine some of those phone companies, maybe like Raids or some of those games that just make a ton of money. They pick that, dude, they could pick that up. It's already on mobile. Pop a couple uh, buy-ins in there. Maybe bring bring back the scroll wheel again. I I wouldn't say easily, but that could be a future we're looking at. Well, I mean, like even Blizzard is owned by a Chinese company. So, you know, it's owned by, uh, pretty sure it's owned by Tencent, right? Of course. Tencent owns almost like every big game how, company, how, how so. long have they owned blizzard for like how long, long time is, is runescape okay, not good enough I, to be owned by tenzin what's up guys yeah probably not it's not it's good probably not big enough. i mean blizzard is in the billions man runescape's in the hundred million we're getting so, up yeah. there i think we're getting well and maybe right maybe because like let's let's say the whole this whole thing works out and with this investment company actually like asset uh asset management company actually like finding some breakthrough marketing strats and gets us in the, you know, check us into the billion dollar earnings or something. Yeah. That might actually attract like those other companies. They're like, mm, another one, you know, basically. Dude, what happened yeah, was dude. Ryzen was looking at Reddit and said, no, nah, we're not <laughs> buying this. <laughs> yeah. we're, good, we're good. We don't want this back. Yeah, we're still, we're still like a humble company, you know, in relation to like Blizzard, right? Those, those guys are multi-billion dollar gaming company, but we're still like, you know, on the smaller scale. But yeah, I guess, I mean, you could you could be afraid. I mean, 
it's all good. But at the end of the day, all these companies are owned by other bigger companies. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like so there is a distinct multinational company between yeah. Blizzard being owned by the same Chinese company for say ten years, opposed to Jagex being sold every year. Like that's quite alarming, and I can sympathize with people that are panicking and worried because when you really think about it, and I don't think about this on a day-to-day -day basis, but the, the fact that it has been sold pretty much every year for the last God knows how many years, it's like, well, eventually something, like either it's going to find its place in the hands of a, a big yeah. millionaire company that actually enjoy the game and want it to do good, or effectively a company that's just like, we could make a quick buck by destroying this game. Because the yeah, sad yeah. truth is, the yeah. only people that wouldn't do that are the people that have an emotional connection to the game. E.g., for mm -hmm. example, the Gower brothers. They wouldn't have done that. Didn't they um, sell that originally, though? They kind of... Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they kind of committed they, the original sin, didn't they? Sorry, Gower yeah, brothers. Yeah. But they weren't, they weren't the people that put microtransactions into yes, the game. Yes, of course. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, yeah, they sold... You could the say... I, I don't know. You could say it was I'm, a nest. I'm trying you know. to make the comparison that... Yeah. It, they were pretty much the hope for us, the people that wouldn't make Wait, silly If they still it, owned it, they were emotionally invested. It, would, it would feel more like old school then, is what you're saying, yeah. if they still had their hands on it. Do you think they yeah, regret I mean, selling it? Yeah. Oh, they do, yeah. He's yeah, openly said so, they yeah. Was that on the, the documentary? The I talked to, I talked yes, to, uh, I talked to one of the Gower brothers at RuneFest a few years ago, but I didn't ask him that question, but, you know, he was at RuneFest every year, dude. <laughs> How much should they, they get are, off dude. it? How much should they? Mm, dude, I don't know the numbers, man. But dude, it, it was enough probably to be set million. for life, man. Yeah, it was probably but, like a... Well, you see here being traded for like 500 million. I, I wonder if they're like... Yeah, oh it's my worth God. more now than it was yeah. before. I don't know. You just gotta, gotta think about that. What? Imagine yeah, dude, this... I'm sure you think about it, bro. Yeah, imagine sure. this time zone that like a real world trading, you know, business makes so much that they can buy RuneScape. Imagine they're just selling gold enough to where they can just buy it. <laughs> you can imagine yeah, that. Yeah, well, like, he's been working on his own game, and I, I don't know when he'll ever release it, but he has his own, uh, like, one of the Gower brothers, like, the main one, um, Andrew, Andrew Gower. He's, he has his own Twitter. He's working on some other game, stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, shit. The whole, the whole thing about companies buying, you know, buying out all the companies, like, yeah, it, this one's been switched around a lot, but Hopefully, you know, they, they find a nice balance and actually has a parent company that will stay, you know, with them for a long time. Because, like, those other companies, though, the, those companies before it, they were, I don't, I don't really know, man. I think they were, like, under some struggles of their own. So they were basically buying out Jagex in the hopes of maybe keeping afloat. But I, I'm not sure what this company's like, though, the whole McAuther uh, asset management. Well, let me read up on this other article you linked me where it says Jagex bolsters team with six new hires for 2020. Uh, does this go hand in hand with the buying of the company? Or um, I think the executives are more the other one. The other one where uh, actually, do, I, do you have the link? Because if not, I can send it to you right now. Well, this one right here, right? Uh, this one, no. The, 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 we, I think the executives ties in more directly. I don't have that link. Mm. Yeah, I send it to you. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, if you want, you can the, read um, about it. You can read about it. Of course. One of the documentaries, I think it might have been for RuneFest. I think it might have been like the, the intro to RuneFest. Uh, the Gower brother, one of them, I don't know which it was, but he was basically saying, he looked super emotional and he was talking about his regrets of selling the company. Like, that has already been done. And, like, the scary thing is, like, that was shown at the introduction to a RuneFest opening, like, ceremony. At the opening where the Chinese overlords that owned the company were upstairs in the VIP lounge watching. And he was saying that, like the, the co, sorry, the old uh, pre-existing owner and maker of the game was saying that, dude. It was quite mm. shocking. I don't know if many people really paid attention to it, but it happened. Mm -hmm. That's, that's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to feel about I, that. And the thing is, we weren't allowed to go up there because it was, you know, the, the owners, man. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. So the Chinese overlords were at RuneFest just chilling upstairs. Is yes. You, that's fucking yeah, they weird. Were. Why would they even show up if they're not going to... Well, it was... It, I it's guess just it was more just their, for business, you know? Yeah, it was just their game. It was just like a business trip, I guess. They just wanted yeah. to see part of what they owned, you know? And seeing the community of nerds dressed up in cosplay. Why wouldn't you want to be there? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> apparently. Uh, so Jagex hires three new executive producers. So, but my original question is: this tied into them selling mm-hmm. the company? Like, are not these directly? It's not just directly? more about recent events. That okay. Yeah, All right, I thought they might have been tied in. Still, <clears throat> new people working for Jagex. British game developer Jagex hired three new people. Firstly, Jess America. His last name's America? <laughs> yeah, I guess. What the fuck? Jesse America. Hey, guess. that threw me. Jesse Has America. been made executive producer of an online RPG. He brings with him 18 years of experience in the industry. He worked for Activision Blizzard in various senior production roles. America has worked on Call of Duty Mobile and Candy Crush. Oh, a lot Candy Crush, of dude. random but pretty impressive yeah, <laughs> fucking People things. Move around, I tell you what, dude, People I know that Candy around. Crush is absolutely riddled with microtransactions. Uh-huh. Oh, that is yes. a name. That is a name right there, <laughs> Mr. Jesse America, that needs to be kept an eye on. A hundred percent. But he also comes from Blizzard, right? Yeah, Blizzard's not key, really yeah. too yeah, known. He's done so, dude, I, dude, if I'm not mistaken, I'm kind of of the thinking that candy crush is owned by blizzard oh i have no um, idea um no, that's a stretch i don't know <laughs> about no, that no 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 i'm fairly sure i'm fairly um, certain they are we'll have to look okay, it up we though. can just quickly look it up yep right? yep activision blizzard acquired a social gaming company uh, king creator of casual game candy so crush saga blizzard will it. buy candy crush but not fucking runescape we're below candy crush but, dude oh. dude candy crush they bought it for 5.9 billion we're not even a billion we're not even a bill, dude. You That's can't the thing. Candy Crush run this game can't, to get dude, over can't, Candy dude, Crush. Dude, Candy Crush topic. is literally just a microtransaction. There is no game. It's just pay. It's just yeah, for it's like insane. soccer moms who pop pills. Is yeah, that exactly, we're saying? Because the yes. thing is, casual phone users will play that game. You know what I mean? Casual phone users don't play RuneScape. That's oh, yeah. the hard part. Can yeah. we ask her chat? Do you there guys you go, like uh, a bigger demographic Candy Crush? That is willing. Yeah, there's a big demographic, way bigger demographic. You know, Candy Crush is owned by Blizzard. Uh, Activision Blizzard. I'm assuming that's just a department in Blizzard. But, but like, still Blizzard. Yeah. how many people like play that on the daily? They got money for that. I would love to know. Dude, so many think I can't get into it. I don't know. It's Mate, just not fun think for me. Think about all the lonely, bored housewives that are either they pop got two on some choices, Skyrim. They, Fuck. No, they got two choices, <laughs> they man. Dude. They either cheat still on their hands. husbands with a mailman, or they play Candy Crush. Okay? How many? It's how like, many combined those? Evil. <laughs> and it's simple it's just you know what i mean it's just like people that can't get invested in like you're taking you know, it from the back you know, playing candy cut and crush in the front man that's that's the life uh let's jump into yeah. another guy uh executive mark rizzo a little bit of a less american name but that's fine he's worked with MMG, mmorpgs for 17 years he began his career of sony I think they was that with Sonic too. Sony and oh, I no, don't know. No, so you know Sony. Sony, like, yeah, like the TV yeah. brand though. I don't know. I just kind of yeah, yeah electronics playing. brand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before like going to work you know. for uh, Ubisoft and EA, and uh, EA is a big, big yeah. <laughs> seller EA's of trash, fucking bro. transactions, dude. So that scares me. Not nothing wrong with you, Mar- Mario. I love your first name. I mean, he might not be responsible for it. Yeah, any of that. he's probably not. No. But, you know, as a he podcast, like, Yo, you know, might as well I'm mention out, it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I, I would love yeah. to ask him about that. Uh, he also co founded Artisan Studios, of which he was the CEO. Uh, wow, a lot of big names for Jagex. And the final hire with 30 years of experience is Gendrick Porsche. Posh. Posh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, uh, don't the amount ban of people me. in the comments Mate, were, oh, you said this fuck, wrong, you said that wrong. Who the fuck has the name Poosh? Or Are you kidding Porsche me? Who the hell has the name, name America, dude? His last I name's know. fucking America. Dude, America. I don't, I don't, I, I Can you imagine Thanksgiving in their family? It's cover, man, but these names, man, these are scaring me. I love these their names. Hire me, these I'll na- get these you. These names are not humanly made names. These are robotically... Na- Dude, these are literally going to be our overlords. Bro, just so ex- you guys know. The executive names, bro. Come on. Dude, where has the last name America? doesn't really go into Mr. Posh's uh, record here, sadly. I did like the other guys' backgrounds, and we don't see much here. Um, and he then- was only recently booted up. That's why, man. Ah. He was only recently switched on. That's what it is. Can you yeah. imagine if by some fucking miracle any of these dudes... Yeah, like, let's be honest. All these, like, all these guys are, like, really... Rakes, you really... just roasted them up when you're yeah, stuck in their dick. Oh, yeah, man. Heavy... What is this young man in the middle's name in game? Yeah. <laughs> all of his accounts. Bro, they're, they're heavy on the business side of things, so it's really, like, hard to find info about... Can we get, like, a server guy in there and yeah. just fucking fix yeah. this shit? 
Uh, and then I'm still interested in some of these other hires, which is funny. I don't remember anybody yeah, who works for get on those if you want. The JMO, yeah. we got I just dude. I, I literally is there anything on there about the old school team? That's all I care about. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. David like Bamberger, another fantastic name, head of the product marketing for RuneScape. So um, the, he makes the Facebook ads or something. I don't know. You ever see those Facebook ads for RuneScape? They're actually kind of nice. Uh, he brings oh, really? Yeah, you ever seen those? He brings 25 oh. years of experience with him, having most recently worked for Tenant, Tencent America and a manager for PUBG Mobile. PUBG Mobile was uh, something. Um, we also got Onoe Kwan. Ooh, who holds the same position as Bamberg, <laughs> Bamberger, for uh, Old School RuneScape. So I believe he's another uh, product marketing manager, or, sorry, head of product marketing. Uh, he's worked for Wargaming, Flagships, World of Tanks. Um, nine new, years. Nine years, yeah. The new creator, service uh, services director, new creator, I don't know what that is, Joe Ray Hall. He has a first name with two names, Joe Ray Joey, Joey Ray. Ray. Joey Ray. <laughs> like Bart. Never mind. Uh, he's previously, previously worked at Blizzard Entertainment for over 23 years at the American Company. He holds senior management roles. Okay. Um, and then more. I'm, I'm kind of getting bored. A lot of these guys are impressive. I didn't think they'd be that impressive. I feel like Ray this year. They got pedigrees, bro. Yeah. yeah, for real. They got resumes, bro. Then you got yeah, the J Mods. I got four years are... on RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the more like low key activities, you know, the business side of things. You don't hear about that often. You're all, you know, what I mean, like as as players, you know, casual players, we mainly just care about updates that happen during the game. But like, you know, there's always a lot of internal stuff going on that it's very hard to get to get a grasp of. Yeah, like none of these guys are gonna be personal, right? To like the player base, they won't. You won't like see them. They're just gonna do their thing. You know, work on the the finances, the business side of things. You know, like how to market. You know what what like the next big move is in terms of money, like profiting and stuff. They're they're gonna do those things, and we're not gonna know a whole lot. So like, it's it sucks because it, it just inherently just makes it feel like a more negative connotation because we don't know enough about them. So yeah, we, yeah. we can only speculate. But hopefully these guys are doing good things, you know, with, with the game, and they actually have a passion. I bet, for like, it. when most people think of like no. the RuneScape heads, we think of J mods. But you gotta no, understand how little power they actually have. It's like they uh, just work on the game itself. Yeah, they don't make like the financial decisions yeah. like these guys do. It's so. like being the manager of a Kmart, but then you get a call from your superior. You know what I mean? It's like you have power to like change the shelves and put up some sales, but in reality, yeah. you can't change too much. Um, but there's, those are the people that love the game, though, and they get the yeah, most hopefully shit. Hopefully, there's some at the top that actually cares about, like, you know, not just making money, but, like, they, they think about the long term, because I feel like the biggest long term profit is making a game that people enjoy, that people value, that, can, that and they'll recommend it to their friends for years to come. That's, like, I think the ideal business model, but, like, some people, obviously, they, they don't think about long term. They think about, like, how, can, how quickly can I make a buck? And maybe just like abandon, you know, and and sell it to another company, right? So it's a we don't know. It's it's just either be sold tomorrow easily. It's just yeah, it's hard to say. Hopefully this <laughs> one, day. you know, they invest long term. You know, not just a year because like yeah, it's kind of it's kind of annoying. You know, getting hearing this news that they're getting like bought by a new company every other year or something. Yeah, dude, it's scary, yeah. man. It doesn't sit well with me at all. It just makes me yeah. think, damn, dude. Like I have a career right now based upon. <laughs> A company being sold and used Yo. like a whore. Hey, back up playing Roblox. Year, dude. <laughs> I told you, man, we picked the wrong career, bro. We should have been Minecrafters. We could have had yeah, careers, Robloxers, dude. man. Mate, if um if Jagex does go down the shitter and they destroy the game, mm -hmm. I'm hoping this is what I think would happen, right? If the higher ups, the people that take over the game, they turned around and said, All right, this game, there's a big player base, there's a lot of money to be made. All of you developers, Mr. Ash mod ash you get to work on this you scrap this game and you add all this shit in. that's a mod ash goes like this and just and starts killing people like, oh. is that he will straight up refuse and i'm hoping that all of the j mods will refuse yeah. i'm probably gonna guess they're all gonna get fired and lose their jobs but at least they have the integrity and decency to stand up for what they believe in i don't think for one second that an nah. old school developer like mod ash is gonna turn around and take the thing that he, i think he's one of the remaining true he's like the pillar orders. he's the pillar of oh, like he loves he's exactly yeah you know like he he clearly loves the game he's been at the place he's been at the company ever since it opened like he was i think the third employee at jagex or 
Remember uh, Ian? Remember Jagged's Ian? Yep. Yeah, he was the first. He is the true embodiment of ride and die. Yeah. All right. Uh, just, Ash, yeah. Yep. yep it's beautiful. I, I think there are certain He's people the heart that and soul, will not. bro. He's the heart yeah. and soul of RuneScape. Dude. There's definitely people that won't turn around and, you know, give up on their oh, yeah, for, sure, for sure. I would love if, like, yeah. Jagex was bought by a well known brand, though, <laughs> not like a weird random company. Yeah, because like, like, imagine if, like, if Pepsi I, bought it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I try to Google any of these holding companies, <laughs> asset management companies, they don't make themselves known. So you don't know. Sh like, it's so hard to find them. You yeah. literally, even the top 10 searches on Google shows nothing about it, them. So here's it's really a fun hard, question right here. Really hey. hard to find. If you guys had to pick a company or a brand, let's just, I'm gonna name a couple like Cheetos, I don't know, fucking Tide Pods. If you had to pick one that could own RuneScape, what, what would what would it be, right? If it was just some oh, random dude. brand. Yo, fucking Tesla, bro. Fuck <laughs> Tesla? Tesla? What do you mean, just Tesla? Buy, they could buy it, dude. incorporate buy their Tesla cars with the RuneScape. Yeah. You go in oh, and the yeah, themes play in, dude. On, look, look, they have they they're they're on their way to super streamlined automated cars. Let's have them. Let's have the drivers play RuneScape while they're fucking driving. Done. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, that'd be kind of dope. On there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the theme songs playing and shit, everything. Yeah. You'd have Yo, the new yeah. uh, it, the car in like pixel Shanty version. Two, bro. You know. Dude, those pe those Tesla trucks can get skinned. By the way, if you buy them, you can get like a skin on them. It's fucking sweet. Ooh. Yeah. Yo, advertising old school for real. <laughs> Rakes, do you got a brand that you would like? Yeah, dude, I think Tesla, man. Tesla would be see? really good. <laughs> like, I actually, I just agree with Re, man. Because the right. thing is, Tesla are They're very innovative. forward thinking. They're fi yeah, yeah, exactly. They're innovative. Innovative. I would and, also uh, go with Tesla, debative. but say we didn't hear what Tesla, what would you think? Like just, just originally, Rex, like just off the top. Yeah, of before head. the Tesla. Well, yeah. if, if we didn't, if we didn't have Tesla. Yeah, because Tesla's too good of a company. Oh, what? Okay. Um. Come on. Mm, any like a random ass company, yeah. KFC. No, you... I love KFC, dude. <laughs> They'd have Yo, like KFC's weekend like... specials where if you play, <laughs> yeah. you play RuneScape for twenty four hours on the weekend, you get a free bucket. You and fucking did or like, What's the best food <laughs> while you're gaming and making a gaining XP? Chicken, KFC. you know? <laughs> he yes. did or tweeted like uh, KFC just finally opened time to eat that lunch, dinner, and, and uh, every. I'm like, oh, fuck me. That's gross. Oh, oh, that's so unhealthy, dude. You're gonna like fucking break out. You get, yeah. week. <laughs> Straight up. No joke. I would, um, that fried chicken. <laughs> if I had to pick a company, I'd do Red Bull. Cause I just feel like right. they. Yeah, they do that. You know, they do that, though. They, they, well, uh, sponsor, they, they sponsor a ton of like, well, they do more physical stuff. I think they're getting into like online gaming, maybe. Yeah, it's like, but they I got those they sweet like, commercials, you know, where yeah. you could have like a RuneScape theme in the commercial of just a RuneScape player cracking one open. You know, oh, he starts yeah. flying. Dude, they wear the jacket, bro. The whatever, like, yeah. they have those. I feel like that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, they sponsor like a lot of crazy like sports, like the the biking sports, like the whole. Do you remember that like skydive thing? Oh yeah, off the top of the up. world there. That was yeah, wild. That's crazy. A lot of they did that. Um, so let's hmm. jump into just, Bounty Hunter though. Cause... Uh, yeah, because I think that's it. We're done with uh, the whole CEO talk. What do you guys think, though? You know, good future or bad outlook? You Dude, know, I, do you know what? I'm like, all jokes aside, okay, at the end of the day, we're speculating, right? And I'm yeah, sorry if it, if it comes across as negative, it, we're having a fucking joke. But like, at the end of the day, there are some genuine fears. Um, I wish there was a bit more transparency, but I don't think that the J mods yeah, can never... even give that. It's too, it's too way above their heads. Yeah. In a sense, I kind of wish that we didn't know. I, I feel like ignorance is bliss. Are I you talking like about probably... Bounty Hunter? No, no, no. No, no, no. we're Before wrapping we up what we're just Oh! <laughs> it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I just, I think that, like, in some ways, I feel like I wish I didn't really know. I, I You know, I yeah. feel like ignorance is bliss, and you know what? If I didn't know, and, I don't know, some shit came into the game we weren't too happy about, I don't know, I... Because I well, feel like knowing about it doesn't change the outcome. It just causes more concern. I know, and they right? don't even give a lot of info. Yeah. They're just like, yep, yeah, we're sold. <laughs> That's bad. I it. mean, they gave like, more this time. Yeah. Still, you know? Bro, they gave more this time than last time. Because you know? at but least this still time, we kind of know what the, the parent company is trying to do. Like to have to make more money, which is you know marketing and you research. could just say that they that's their mission statement for everything though, right? And yeah, that's just how they handle shit as a as a company, and it might not mean anything. So we'll have to see. Yeah, Only well, time yeah, will it's tell. fifty fifty, bro. Right. You know what I mean, it could be money or long term money. You know what I mean, I prefer long term money. A lot of those companies will just say, yeah, we we take everything seriously and we want to grow everything. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, really, do you though? We don't know. Yeah, it's up to you guys to you know form your opinions though, because we don't know. 
we're just guessing as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo, you know, on the on the on the bright side, uh, old school RuneScape Mobile got eight million downloads. So oh. Eight million downloads on eight million phones. You know. Mm, I'm surprised so it's not more. Fuck. Really? Man. I thought yeah, it'd be much bad, more. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope it goes more. They just got market harder. Uh, for real got, yeah dude what they need to do is they need to hook all of the pre-existing runescape content creators up with like do you know what they should actually do do you know what jagex should genuinely do they should get an affiliate link for all of us runescape content creators and you get to choose if you have it in your stream or in your youtube videos where effectively if somebody wants to sign up and play the game they can use your link or whatever there's a way of figuring it out um that would be mm-hmm. really good. I'd be really curious. I wouldn't even care about getting paid for it initially. I do down the line. But to start with, I'd just be curious to see how many players come to the game through our content. Well, they could also I just give like out prizes, people. right? It's like, oh, you downloaded this many, you know, oh, Flight the Rune Fest, you know? Something like that, where yeah. they could write off that budget. <laughs> yeah. you know, just don't... I, I mean, <laughs> if it's going to be flying to Rune Fest, fair enough. But if it's going to be like, three months membership and you've had ten thousand people join the game like it's a bit of a slap in the face for here's a year on account there you go fuck it's like we play this game enough i don't want another account for year membership please stop i it would be cool though dude i like money aside and all that stuff like i would like to know and also you know wouldn't it be good for the game to have a direct link you know for anybody yeah, they do that mobile? some games do that i know like I know, like uh, a lot Fortnite of mobile games yeah. do that, but yeah, they're yeah. that's you know I don't know. They're next. I like the idea. There's definitely a lot of things they're not doing to advertise RuneScape, but I, I want to jump into Bounty Hunter though. I want to. <laughs> I have a lot of things yeah. to say about this. Uh, start it off. Do you guys have any opinions on Bounty Hunter before I just decimate? Or we're sorry, we're gonna well, start. Well, yeah, nicely, yeah. Okay, so can kindly. we just quickly address the things that we talked about last podcast that didn't make it? So, like, you know, oh, the yes. almighty VLS, right? Yes. The thing that failed the poll many a times. But, you know, it's actually in the game. So, surprising. How did that happen? Well, there's there's the, there's this idea now that I think Jagex is coming to terms is that if they try to pull, you know, any, like, PvP-specific updates, pretty much the majority of the players who aren't PvP will vote no to it, and it won't pass. So, Jagex realizes that they have to actually, you know, take things in their own hands to a degree. So they decided, let's do it. You know, Vessel's Longsword, we, we need it in the Bounty Hunt. So they decided themselves that it was going to come to the game. Um, but yeah, anyways, you, uh, Settle on Twitter and made a post. It's like, oh, well, you know, Vessel's Longsword didn't pass a few times. So, um, you know, what's going on? Why is, why is it still going to the game? Because it's going to set an awful precedent because you know, Jack is going to make the rules. But to be fair, Jagus has already been updating certain things without polling anyway, so it's not like it hasn't been done before. But uh, if you click on that picture with Mod Ash in it, uh, Mint, yeah, yeah, this is how we knew that they were just going to bring into the game without a poll, because I can't really read it. Can you read it, the whole Mod Ash thing? Can you um, read the reply? And, and the yeah, of course. Uh, first, Matt, and by the way, this is how we knew Bounty Hunter was coming out as well, because Mod Ash replied to somebody, not because they told us. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, looking mm-hmm. forward to the return of Bounty Hunter. Are you guys planning on pulling any of the Discuss Changes editions? I'm fine with most of them. Uh, we've not found... Oh, sorry. Mod Ash replies. We've not found those... Got, wait, we not found those got useful answers for the community so far, so we're not planning to do one. However, we've been able to use quite a lot of player input regarding the design. So, is he talking about, like, they're just not going to use the polls? Is that what he pretty much said there? Well, basically, he's just saying that we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna just bring certain things out. Yeah. Up uh, into the game. Sorry, the way you because said they, they said they found enough uh, player input to bring it out correctly. Uh, basically, that's what. And last podcast that we didn't upload, we covered this saying that Settled was uh, talking about these ideas that didn't get passed and they're still coming to the game. And he was not happy with it, which is fair, right? I don't think a lot of us were. And then we <laughs> scrolled down. And all the yeah, all the uh, PvP creators, they're like, mm, yeah, every yeah. PK content creator roasted my boy settled in, in the nicest way possible, saying that we need updates in RuneScape, whether they're passing the polls or not. Uh, yeah. And it looks like people just started adding on here, even if like because not like everyone gives a shit about this, but it's settled, so I bet they just like replying. But it it got yeah. pretty hefty down below. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do you think though um well you can talk about it when you go over the whole bounty hunter right like the the question would be is like was the whole vls thing a good idea coming to the game well you know? but that's something you 
answer it. To talk about your thing. So. Well, yeah, last last the uh, last time though, because we didn't upload it, I actually agreed with settled. Right, it didn't pass the poll. Not a lot of people wanted it. It's like no, don't bring it into the game. And apparently, everyone else in the chat like they disagreed. I didn't. I didn't reply. I didn't even know this existed. But when we were talking, I was like, yeah, I kind of agree with this. Right? If it doesn't pass, items are scary. You don't want them in the game. Why are they coming to the game? Right? But it looks like the replies that we're getting are pretty much. RuneScape needs some sort of PKing update, whether it's right for the game or not. We need an update, and we need it now. Well, and I also agree so with that. It, it, it's the step that's taken. Yeah, we need updates, right. We need know? something to start that kind of progress, yes. whether it's mm. no one wants it or not. We need an update, and, and that's it's not just, the same VLS too that we used to have. It's quite modified as well. Yeah. No, it's still pretty fucking strong. I trust yeah, me. Yeah, it's strong. It's, but they just kind it's of modified pretty it. fucking. We didn't know- I don't think yeah. we knew that information at the time when Settled made this tweet. Like, we didn't know what it was actually going to be like. I think it's stronger. But, because but in this post, knows. it says the Vest Longsword would be with 250 charges and it would deplete. But now, you just put 50 mil and you're good to go. Forever. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. you right, can just right, keep so using it. It's much update, stronger. Yeah, um, okay, let's get into the update so then I just want to say, talk about it. I do agree with Settled. Yeah. But... I also agree that we need updates, and I'm sad that it's, it's come to the point where we're going to take what we can get, and that's that's where it's at right now. That's, I agree, but it's we need it. Yeah, it's a neutral. Okay. I guess. From what you guys have heard from Bounty Hunter, though, do you guys right, have any so opinions on it? As like, far as I'm aware, I, I, ha- I don't know too much. I only know what I see. So uh, the whole idea that they limited the... Uh, farming aspect of it, right? Because they said like only only one emblem can be generated in that hotspot, or is it? Is that how it was? Is it per person, or is it just per? Well, I'll, I'll explain it a bit. It's very complicated. Complicated, but yeah, right? It's a and chance. Then, and then you know, uh, I I saw somewhere uh, on Reddit that there was uh, some sort of farming going on still, but except it's with clans. How's that? How's the whole farming with the clans thing? Is that like a big deal? I'll actually pull up one of my videos here and just show you a little clip because. I stayed up. The coffin dance, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. stayed up for this update. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. I was doing a 12 hour stream. Someone says, hey, Bounty Hunter's about to release. I knew nothing, right? I, this is the update I've been waiting for all year. I knew nothing about Bounty Hunter being said because they didn't say shit. Everyone's like, well, Mod Ash tweeted. A reply, not a regular, just a reply to somebody saying, yeah, it should be out later tonight. Like we're fucking fixing the farming cape trim or something. Yeah, this patch might be. This is huge. So I stay up, and the release of RuneScape is pretty much, check out this server lag. Where do I have it here? So this is me trying to kill people on my pier, and this is this is the release of Bounty Hunter. Stayed up 14 hours for this. <laughs> did you see that did you see that delay yeah that was like a two second delay bro <laughs> yeah yeah that was yeah. that was the release okay so started off fucking rough. rough okay 30 yeah. minutes to an hour later they added another server so originally it was only 329 Man. yeah which for some reason they thought was a good server all the 320s are fucking horrible 510 random on the other side of the fucking server map 510 so you gotta imagine how many people got skull tricked logging into these random servers because <laughs> there was no patch note login scold oh the tag they actually had a crossbow bulwark didn't even know i'm sure a lot of plus ones were <laughs> lost Did, no one knew just random worlds are bounty hunter you log in you're skull why uh, is it so rushed i don't know the release was, was rushed yeah, there were, the, servers were laggy on like the front page or mm. anything or Nah, Who knows? Bro, remember last week we were confused as fuck, dude, because they didn't post anything about Bounty Hunter. But you guys week. did say that we should start off positive. So I'm not even <laughs> into roasting it yet. I want to start off positive by saying the VLS is fun. It's strong, but it's fun. The blighted items can be used in most areas, not just Bounty Hunter. So blighted rune sacks are fucking sick. Those are game changing. You don't need rune pouches, you got barrage in one pouch. They're not very expensive. That's a game changer. Normal spell books also works. I like that very much. Yay, Wait, can you put can you good. put the can you put the compound runes or whatever you call them, combined runes, into the rune pouch? 
I've never tried it. I don't think it counts as runes, so I'm going to say no, but I've never tried it. But I know you can have a rune pouch and the runes on you. So you're probably going to go from, let's say you have a teleblock pouch, an entangle pouch, and then you put your fire surge in the rune pouch, <laughs> right? But that only takes up three inventory spaces opposed to like 12. Thanks. True. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I, I really do like that. Upset. So how many like, uh, inventory yeah. spaces did you save on average? <clears throat> two every time because i used the barrage one i haven't even tried the um normal spell oh, book yet yeah, but that's it's nice that's like two extra brews or something yeah. and i'll give it to them that's very good that's a very good update okay uh oh, hey we should also uh, uh you know be clear that the festus longsword only works in bounty hunter yes that's the one item that you can only use it there yeah. But, so how 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 do you how do you think that comes into the balancing? Does it make well, it more balanced that you can't spam it just anywhere in the wilderness, just in mm, I don't know. I, I think do you know what? I think it's regardless. I think it's a very very smart way of Jagex yeah. to implement such an item because they're testing the waters with it in Bounty Hunter and just seeing how people react to it. And do you know what? If people like it, then going forward they can put it into other worlds potentially. I really like the way they've implemented yeah. that. I like that it. is a plus that I can say. That's I like it positive. too, but the only problem is because the Vialis is such a strong weapon, and it's super... I don't know if they modified it at all, but it's so fucking strong still. Um, yeah. That everybody don't, wanted it. the stats. Everybody still wants it. Yeah. And that caused a huge need for these emblems, right? So you can buy them from the bounty shop. So it works. You sell the emblems for points, and you buy it with points. Oh, it's not RNG. Damn. Well, it is RNG because killing your target only gives you a chance. In my video, I killed oh, four okay, of my targets, okay. legit, and I didn't mm -hmm. receive one emblem. And now I that's see. even that's upgrading your emblem. So even if you have it on you and you're risking it, it's still a chance to upgrade it. Well, I that see. turned the wilderness <laughs> into... <laughs> you see the that? farming, right? Are we going to talk about the farming? Yes. All, oh. all the hot spots, which I kind of guessed would happen, <laughs> were just clans farming emblems that's all that was because if you're in a hot spot in the wilderness you have a much higher chance to get an emblem it's not yeah. too rng right but if a clan so controls the hot rid spot they can yeah. farm it yeah so, it's rough dude they just can't get a break with this farming shit dude well, hot spots are ridiculous <laughs> i know Look they need this. to like i feel like they just need to get rid of the hot spots and it's like they keep trying and trying and trying to do the whole hot spot thing but it just fails every time. How many times have you tried the hotspot? Like two times already? Yeah, and either way, and it it's fails. it's boostable. It it's literally... Ah, so it's And even if you go on now, it's deep. Probably so I don't speak for the people in Edgeville because I don't know how good of a time they're having, even though every time you get a target kill, it's chanced, right? So you don't even get an emblem every time. So that's got to be demotivating to fight your targets and go, oh, hey, I didn't get it this time or whatever. So maybe you guys are having a great time, for, but Deep Wilderness... Yeah, it's a fiesta over there, dude. Even on the non-hotspot zones, you just have these guardians for the the people, right? I believe it was Frontline who was who had a lot of those people in full ancestral, oh, just yeah, just attacking anybody deep wilderness. No one was breeding. They were taking everybody out of there. Um, they would have people with like spellbook swap, and they go under you and TB you full. I mean, it was there was no actual regular breeding besides like the top brids in the game wearing the best gear. On the laggiest servers, <laughs> so Farmers. even for PJ uh, timer, yeah. they would just freeze, stand under, or go around a tree and have someone else attack you. Um, so for me, it was not an optimal update. Yeah, sadly, That's the biggest flaw, the whole hot farming hotspots thing, dude. Yeah, so I was yeah, yeah. I was just a bit disappointed. Servers are bad, grid fights aren't very fun. People are boosting in the hot spots. So that, that pretty much covers all Bounty Hunter to this day. Um, there's some good... But... What, what do you think? If they got rid of the hotspots, would it fix a lot of the problems? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, because... I think they know what to do. <laughs> take, take, I don't know if you guys are with me, but hotspots are very literally used... You know, they're never used legitimately. You're never going to find your fight and go... Oh shit! Should we fight in here and not stand outside, or or not lure you to one of the teleport spots? I yeah, mean, man, I remember when when it was first pitched, and we're like, "Yo, this could be interesting, man." And then no, <laughs> I changed my mind because like it get, it just gets farmed. Yeah, you know, back to back after two changes. 
And if you tried to hunt people with emblems, because a cool update is it would show your emblem above your head, so you know who's risking. So you go into the hotspot and you find someone who has an emblem, they would automatically punch their target. And you couldn't attack them anymore. But you couldn't even farm the farmers, because they have the PJ timer on their side. Because they have a target right next to them, and there's nothing you can do. It's the biggest exploit in PKing. The PJ timer is working for the single clans, and that's, it's almost beautiful. It really is yeah, how fucked up it is. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. Oh, man. It's, I thought I had much more to save, but that's it. I think I covered a lot of my input. <laughs> what what, what, do, you, what huh. do you think about the um, the reality of getting the Vestal's longsword? Like, get, uh, How long does it take to get it, realistically, in time? Because I heard a lot of people complaining. Are you about talking about no boosting? No yes. farming hotspots? Yes. Just regular yeah, Let's talk about both. Let's well, just, just, yeah, talk, talk about both, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, if you legitimately fight your targets in Edville, and somehow you are able to win every fucking fight, I think skill spec said he killed 14 targets? Zero emblems? 14? Well, the, this, is, this is the thing, right? I've seen a lot of content creators complaining about it taking, like, a whole day to get it. But... I, I mean, I that's think, not much. No, that's not bad, man. Like, realistically, if you were to just do that, like, I think Ian said that it took him, like, maybe two days to get the VLS, and some yeah. people were complaining on Twitter and whatnot, but that seems pretty reasonable for have a you, VLS. Oh, have you seen Pure Spam PK? <laughs> it's like an art. He knows what PID is. He knows when to swab, he knows when to spec, and he knows when to telly. Not everyone's like that. Every yeah, content yeah, creator true, true. has a huge fucking source of PK because no, they make money off it. We're talking That's about true. regular people who win like yeah, three right. fights in a row just... and don't get but any then, emblems, but, man. But then again, do they want to have every person in Bounty Hunter running around with a VLS? It's like, only it's like, it, like VLS generator, dude. Like, if that's only the great PKers have VLSs, man. Bounty hunters not gonna last a long time. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna get well, farmed. True. Yeah, true, true. So, yeah, there probably will be some like complaints going down the line, mostly with the farming and. Who knows? Man. Maybe the VLS I, thing, too. I actually yeah. got roasted on my video. So did Framed. And we were actually talking about it on Twitter. And I think everybody on their first day, because of the farming was so weird and how people were boosting, that we wanted a VLS just to get content out. And the legitimate way was ridiculous. So we all bought mm -hmm. it, right? I, I bought mine off a random PKer friend who was a viewer. The boosters wanted me to get on Discord. That was creepy as shit. But <laughs> yeah, it was like I'm not talking to you on Discord. It's weird. Like I don't know you, dude. <laughs> but we got so much shit for buying the emblems, which you would do previously. You would just lose like a tier, right? That was a pretty common practice. But now you don't even lose a tier, right? After you die with it. But we got so much shit. And I, what do you guys think about that buying? emblems do you think Man. that's bad let's just say I mean, not even from wait, a wait, booster that's can been you... a thing since forever yeah um, honestly can, can you trade the vls no if you, okay, well, you can I trade would, everything else right. yeah you this is it, it's 50 mil gp on the ground this is basically the only way to be the buy the vls to yeah. take that shortcut yeah um and the emblems don't, I don't downgrade do you know i don't Anymore. I don't really know how I feel about that because the VLS is effectively an unlimited VLS unless you get smited for it, right? Oh, and if you get smited strong. for it, you and don't it... lose the VLS, you just lose the cash. Is that right? No, I think you lose You it. lose it cash. It just turns into, into cash. Yeah. Right. So you do disappear. lose the VLS. You will disappear off your account. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it'll... Okay. Gone. Okay. So the VLS is kind of like an untradeable item in that case. And the only way you lose it is through getting smited or for getting to protect item. And in a sense, it kind of is like, it, if that's the case for it and it can't be traded, it kind of makes sense for it not to be able, there shouldn't really be a shortcut to get it. I feel like you should have to earn it like by going through, like maybe that would make it more engaging. The fact that the people with VLSs, there was no shortcuts and people could That'd just nice. straight up. Look, it, but the problem it, I, is, I it there is always a shortcut, right? Oh, yeah, no, I don't have it. Dude, listen, if you yeah. can buy a VLS straight up and not have to put fucking 50 hours into it, you'd be stupid not to if you've got mm -hmm. the money. I'm actually yeah. collecting emblems so I can get Rakesy one. I almost got you. We're getting oh, there. Yeah, are dude. you actually? Yeah, I've been PKing a bit. I don't know if I want to nah. go back on the Bounty Hunter Worlds, though. They're kind of shitty. I love, nice I love you so much, man. Please, please. <laughs>
please, please. I'd love to do we're, we're do some we're do some collabing content. Rewards to come with us as well. Let's go I mean, if it's in the wilderness, man. If it's in the if it's in the wilderness and I, I get to fuck around, I don't care. You know, I'm down. But yeah. But I got I got a lot of backlash, right? Because uh, in my video, I when said, "Don't you, man?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Hey, I don't give a shit if people are boosting or whatever. I just want a fun way to PK because I don't blame people if they're going to be making a ton of money." And then someone's like, "You're just helping the boosters by buying the emblem." I'm like, "I didn't buy it from boosters, but maybe they have a point. It's like you shouldn't be able to buy emblems off people." Well, here's the problem, right? Like, I don't let's know. say they just let's say, let's say they get rid of the emblems, and then there's a way, there's a system in which you have to participate to get the VLS. I'm sure that system would probably get abused in some way. Every Either system way, they yeah. come out with definitely yeah. gets abused. Yeah, I, I would love to know problematic. if Jagex made it to the point where it's like they knew people would die with them and, and trade them off, right? And so they made them de not degradable for that reason. Right? It, it, did they do that on purpose, or did they? Um, I don't I, know. I think they were just trying to think of a smart way of. I don't know. It's difficult, man, because the degrading mm. VLS thing it kind of works, but it kind of didn't because it wouldn't work. It wouldn't be worth it with the with the current way that you get the VLS. You know, like you could trade for it. If you could trade the VLS and it had a degradable system, like it used to be 30 minutes. Like that's what it was summed up as. It was like any PvP armor or weapon lasts 30 minutes in combat. And like it didn't really make sense because you could take the status Warhammer and just spec with it. Really you know? quick and switch it out. Yeah. Yeah. So it was really like, I don't know how that was calculated. But I, I feel like um, I've completely lost track of what the question yeah. was and my process. I was getting into it. Now. <laughs> it's about like the farm. Like it's it's about the fact that people can kind of take advantage of the system to speed up the process of getting it. But yeah. on on what you were saying is like, why did they make it unlimited for fifty mil? Like I still don't understand. That is strong. I've... Yeah. Well, really how strong sad. is how strong is the VLS? I've I was heard smacking such conflicting forty sevens with it, no defender. So I just pop it what, out forty seven. Is that a pure? Is that a pure? Then, man, man, pure. On, man, and pure. then you what? You spec like sixties or something? Sixty pluses? Like it was just really accurate. Yeah. I, I've been hit like a seventy two from some of those people in like five hundred mil gear. Um, <laughs> but so overall. Gross. Four specs of 70s. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's super strong. I would decimate uh, anyone yeah. in regular gear. I would fight on par with the people in maxed gear. Almost. Not really. They're fucking insanely maxed. But yeah, I don't know about you... Edgeville PKing, though. I'm not sure how it would fit in there. But I think Frame just uploaded a video where he risked like 150 mil Edgeville. And I'm sure he decimated. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't even hard. Yeah. You know? I mean, I, I didn't even know this until the other day, but the uh, VLS spec ignores, I think it's 75% of the armor and defense of whatever you're specking. That's ridiculous. Like, I didn't know that. So, yeah, I didn't realize that. So if you're specking somebody with, like, say, Bulwark and full Torags, it will ignore 75% of that defense. That really? is fucking in yeah, Has seriously. armor ignore? It really? does. It and does. it's yeah, fast. It has, like, it's fast. It's like, fast just as imagine, fuck. Imagine mm. if the three of us had VLSs and we went to Revenants. That's what right? I want to do. Just <laughs> fucking... So, yeah, like we just kill them through fucking prey and smite just them. And them. we just and I was in like 30s and 40s. I was thinking five-man squad, one person de-skimmies. And they're just... Not, what, what would you do? Your prayer is gone. You know, you just... Oh, doo, 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 doo. It's just gone. We're, Mate, we're yeah. have one person with a D skimmy. Solo mission, yeah. <laughs> oh my, oh my god, oh my god! I just had the most epic YouTube moment idea. Do you know Lord of the Rings, right? Do you know yeah. when just before Frodo gets stabbed by the um by the, Harry Potter the dark blade? I can't think what it's called. Re, you've watched Lord of the Rings, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Do, do you know when the the shadow? Oh, what are they fucking called? Like the shadow knight, the shades, blade, the shadow blades, the, the mentors. Shades. Do you know when they all come through on top of like the big um? It's like a tower that they're on. They start a fire. They're idiots. And they're cooking breakfast at like stupid o'clock at night. I don't know. They're cooking but they breakfast in a tower. Dude. Imagine, dude, imagine a scene of us, right? All in our rooms with VLSs of burning oh, defenders, fuck. all going in on a person. Like someone's in the middle. Sounds and there's like, like a porn. five or six of us going straight in. Uh -huh. And it could it can have the epic Lord of the Rings music playing in the dude, background. That's what I've been thinking, man, for like a week. Uh -huh. I'm like, I gotta get my boys out here and we gotta fuck some shit up with the VLS uh -huh. before RuneScape takes it away. Like it's beta. They could just go, nope, and it's gone. You know? Man, man. Mint, mate. Yeah. If you if you do get me a VLS, mate, I will love you. 
forever. Fuck, I'm, I'm, I gotta be close. I'll hooked item at all costs. <laughs> dude, I gotta I'll be close. Dead by mode. Oh hell yeah, dude. Um, I don't know, dude. I I don't know personally if I didn't buy the emblems, right? Because I feel like I I am a little biased because I bought them. But if I didn't yeah. buy them, I and I even back when bounty hunters out when people were selling tears to other people for rune pouches, I didn't care. I really didn't care. All I saw was well, like, hey, I mean, somebody who PKs. It wasn't PKs. as profound, it wasn't yeah. as profound to, to just buy a rune pouch. You know, it's not as crazy. Well, the thing is, you got these people who PK every day, kind of like how a skiller yeah. skills every day, and they just come up with all, like hundreds of tier 10 emblems, right? It's possible to do if all you do is PK. Now, are you going to have that trophy sitting in the bank? Or maybe you want to sell it to somebody who doesn't PK? I mean, it's, it's a resource that a PKer earns. If you could trade it off through a trust deal, I mean, more power to them, in my opinion. And now that they don't degrade, as long as you're not actively boosting them in hot spots, I couldn't give less of a shit. If someone was like, yeah, I, it took me two days. You want to buy it for 100 mil? Sure. Mm. How much did me. you buy yours for in the end? By I the bought a hundred, hundred and fifty. Yeah, it was expensive. It was, it wasn't even worth buying it on that day either. I mean, the servers were just so bad. I was really <laughs> looking forward to PKing for like two weeks straight, and I get onto this Roblox ass fucking bumbly five second ping servers. You know, it's just completely took my heart away from Bounty Hunter, man. I, mm. I don't even want to log in. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, dude. yeah, still, still a huge work in progress, man. Jeez, <laughs> yeah, still a huge work in progress. Mm. They gotta, cause like I think they just have to find a way where the abuse is not so profound. You know what I mean? Because er, like we said, every system will get abused, but it's more about you know how how big of a magnitude is the abuse. You know what I mean? If it gets to a point where it's just not a big deal. And it's, I think that's great. Well, that's the biggest abusable thing right now is just hot zones. Yeah. Because exactly. you just have. If they get rid of that. So if they get rid of that, would the abuse be, you think, maybe put to a minimum where, yeah, there might be an occasional people still trying to like do some sort of farming, but it won't be as profound. Well, here, let me here, show here, you. Here's, here's a big brain outside of the box question for the both of you. So we as a community, us also, are very, very concerned with the people abusing this. Now, funnily enough, BH and its system has been abused for the longest of times. It wasn't until like Sir Pugger and a few other content creators really shined a fucking light on it that we started to care. So my question to you is, does it even fucking matter? Like what if they continue to boost? Rakesy, does it affect the rest of the game? That's where you're wrong. I've never cared. Okay. I do <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never cared yeah. buddy i don't yeah, know about well, you guys i, I just I talk about it. it's interesting right i don't give a I, shit I boost don't i'll give a fuck in the PvP, you know? i'm not i'm not too involved with the pvps but but it's, it's like just, it's something that we're worrying about and it's something we're trying to figure yeah, out yeah. but does exactly. it matter like yeah, does it exactly. actually That's matter point. i just find no, it no, super really... intriguing those videos where he goes out and he just hunts people who are making this it's like a it's like a a, a wilderness documentary yeah, right yeah, he needs to hire someone with that voice like i found five like bounties like, in the, the wild yeah you know? the thing is i think people are pissed at the fact that these people have put the time and effort and fairy crafting in to realize I can abuse this system and I can make a shit yeah. ton of money. And people aren't happy with that because they're not actually willing to do it themselves. Because I guarantee yeah. you, the people that complain about it are the people that aren't bothered and they're not willing to make themselves five accounts around the same combat level, which yeah. I don't blame you, but it's like, it doesn't actually, I don't feel like it really affects the rest of Bounty yeah. Hunter. Maybe wrong. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm open for criticism. So, yeah, but so I, I like, just don't care about yeah. it. It's whatever. Here, here's the more simple question that that we need to do, we need to kind of get into. Does this update make Bounty popular? Now, we don't know the answer to that yet because it just came out, but like, let's say, you know, a month down the line, does this update still keep Bounty Hunter? We, I think we know, already know the popular, answer to right? that. Um, and I just, like, I so? wanted to show you this because this is Mage Bank Hot Zone. And I'm on somebody who is boosting, right? Look at his gear. How the fuck did yeah, he get yeah, an emblem? It's so bad. Right? And yeah. I'm attacking him. I'm chilling. I'm TB and he's You're automatically right. talking shit, right? <laughs> You're right. TB yeah. him. I'm doing everything that I, I possibly can to kill this guy. Um, look yeah. at that. Instantly, I get a target. I can't skip my target in combat. It's one of their protectors. Yeah. Look at his mm -hmm. gear. You got a VLS. You got the Inferno Cape. I'm not sure if that's bot or not. Probably real. You got Arma, Ellie. 
right? God damn, this guy and I'm just trying to get a shit. kill on uh, some dude in sh- fucking Black D Hat. Black D Hat, yeah. And they'll just have. So, so that's the thing. So you think this update's not going to last? It's yeah. already fucking dead for what I'm playing. Okay, All the bridge's okay. are already gone. Hot so zones are just clanned. Yeah, it's yeah, just because, not fun. Because that's the issue. You want because the thing is the whole purpose of these updates is to make the content that in, that interacts with more popular. So yeah. you're saying it just isn't working. So not that's not good. That's maybe Edgeville. Maybe Edgeville's good, but the hot zones are fucked. Um, yeah. Even if you try to hunt some of their boosters, they'll just get right back on you. They'll box. Um, yeah. It, it, it's bad. It's just really bad. I don't give a shit about boosting either. I just want to have yeah, fun. So Rixie, it's just... so Rixie, I would say the answer to your question is it does matter. Because if Bounty Hunter isn't you know, popular because of this, then that is a problem, right? Because the whole point is to make the content popular, right? To make it more active, right? So right. I, I guess wait, it is I'm, a problem. I, wait, I'm trying to connect the dots. Sorry. Because you said whether or not the whole farming thing matters at yeah. all but but i'm just addressing it as in does this update make the bounty hunter more popular but M- mint's saying because the farming is happening it's making it less popular as as in the protectors and stuff are getting the way of the whole like vh aspect you know of killing your target and shit hmm so farming is making it kind of yeah it kind of sounds like if that is what's happening and there's protectors it kind of is bringing life to the wilderness it's Fly for one coming. clan. Yeah, it's coming in a form where of parasites. You basically it's a have... clan system, you know. Yeah, more or less. Which, yeah. to be honest with you, a lot of things in the wilderness have been run by the clans. I don't mm. know. So okay, Maybe it's not yeah, like that's, that's, okay. I don't know, man. Calling yeah. that activity where they just get on Discord and farm each other for emblems is weird. You know what I mean? So wait, the clans are locking down the hot zones and selling the tier nines to people that want to buy VLS. Because that's pretty much what's happening. No, they're finding they're they're on there and they're far, they're bringing out accounts, right? They'll have like somebody named like Supreme Five and shit, you know, and they have all the numbers. It's very obvious, and they just bring them all out and they farm each other, get the emblem, boom, and then they probably all take a split. And there's like one dude in Edgeville advertising, hey, selling tier 10, 70 mil, you know, Discord name or some shit, and then they probably all get a cut. And they're I don't know how much they're making, right. but. So basically, yeah. Jagex have missed the target audience. Yeah, yeah, right. Missed, yeah, I would say they've missed it, dude. In okay. that case, because like if it's that abusable to the point where the clans are just making hella money like that without any okay, but you know, well, real. So that defeats the side of Bounty Hunter, which is the deep body halt zones. But the rest of Bounty Hunter, how's yeah, that looking? I don't mm-hmm. know. I have no idea. Uh, all I do know is that like every Brit area is not good. Um, even for pures, it's not good. I've I've seen some pures try to do that teleport to target shit. They're all like in multi and and whatever. It's the multi play might be fun if you're like in a multi clan taking over another area. That could be good, but I think they're all in alliance and they're making ma- money because if they fight, they're not gonna make as much money, right? Because I don't yeah. I, I don't see them attacking each other. I really don't. I see a holding holding areas down. Um, I, I'll be honest with you, mate. I didn't think and i've said this time and time again i don't think that throwing certain items or certain amounts of gp per hour into what we currently have as our pvp system is going to fix it long term. yeah yeah um, people just farm the fuck out of it I, I genuinely am still for some reason i don't even know why i'm still disappointed that this hasn't worked um yeah. i'm not, i can't say that i'm not surprised um i kind of did see it coming and i've been saying it the entire time but i just think that like how many more pointless <laughs> updates are we gonna have before they just actually do something meaningful? Like, I, I mean, please prove me wrong. Please just I, tell I, me this is Jagex just putting Bounty Hunter back in for the small amount of people that want to play it. I gotta bring this quote back, dude. Good. From last, uh, from last podcast, it didn't go up. I, I pretty much compared <laughs> Bounty Hunter to a movie trilogy where the first one's really good and then they just keep getting worse and once uh-huh. it's episode 3 or movie 3 you're like do we even show up to the theater i mean if there's a fourth one i don't know do you... uh, sometimes you just got to go back and you got to look go back to the drawing board and look what originally worked man ruined berserker shields but like mm, the, the, that's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. You joke about that. They didn't make the rewards too crazy. Lot, <laughs> there, is a lot of truth. there is actually a lot of truth in the Rune Berserker Shield. And you know what the truth is? They're fucking it's ridiculous. The fact, 
<laughs> it's the fact that the reward was so bad that, and also just to clarify, Rune Berserker shields were from PvP EP system and from um, the Guffix mini game PvP game, which was Guffix. What was it called? What was the Guffix one? Guffix. Um, Tears? Fist of Guffins. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so the I'm Rune Berserker Shield actually never came from Bounty Hunter, ever. It came from PvP EP system and from the Fist of Guffins. Oh, um, I know, I just love saying Rune, Rune Berserker Shield is just fucking the best thing. Yeah. But but I think the truth in it, and let's say the Rune Berserker Shield, shield yeah, just it's for not the sake about... of the conversation, it's like, it's not, it wasn't about the reward. Yeah, it was it about was the a, experience, right? It was the experience, and it was the game itself. It was like yeah, how it Yeah, the game worked. experience. Yeah. And like, the thing is, I think about this all the time, and I'm going to get real philosophical on you, but like, maybe the period of just PKing somebody and taking their items has passed. Maybe that the is no longer and never will be exciting enough for anybody again. Okay, that is a huge possibility because when I think about bounty hunter craters, I remember how exciting it was. When I think about the bounty hunter we have now, I'm just like, I'm not thrilled about it at all. And I don't know if that's because I'm just not interested and I've grown out of PKing, or it's just the same old thing that it's always been. Yeah, like, they, like will... the whole reward. Yeah, make it rewarding enough that people come in, but then you just get uh, farmed. The... Yeah. I'm sorry, man, but any yeah. anybody that thinks, and everybody has such a different opinion, I'm not trying to piss people off, but honest to God, if they make Bounty Hunter 5 mil per hour, if you're good, it's not going to fix the problem. Yeah, because then really... you just end up getting farmed, and that's it. <laughs> that's yeah, the end of that. <laughs> dude, I, I think that they just basically need a fresh start. I think they should leave the current and existing um, PvP stuff we have as is, and basically let it fizzle out while they work on new stuff. That's what I think that they should do. Um, they should never get rid of the wilderness, the original. They should never do that. It should stay the same in every single world. But they should just be working on new stuff. Like, I mean, I don't know. I I, I get kind of bummed out. I'd be more interested if they work on an ELO system, bro, and they can do actual competitive tournaments with that stuff, you know? Yeah, I'd I'd love that. I mean, I I, yeah. I uploaded I a whole. Like, I think that's the only one that that probably will you know rise. I, I to think the that that's something that we've needed for a very long time. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, every other fucking game has it, but we're like the only game that don't, right? <laughs> like, well, not many MMOs do, but like all the successful games, they all run Elo multi million dollar tournaments, and it gets views, it gets attraction, it gets easy marketing. It's insane. It brings in so many players. Yeah, we don't have that. We don't have that. Like, just imagine like a uh, Elo system, a, a competitive scene that is so popular that all the other people, it's just spills over to other PVP content, right? Because it's just there's so many PVP people coming into the game because of it. It's funny because esports players actually have tried to get back into RuneScape and they've popped open streams. Some of the big guys, and uh, they're just not able to stick around because of what the PVP we have. You know, it's just not. It's oh, we can't just join like, a game and play. There's just not or... enough hype. You know, yeah. to the whole PvP. They'll go. Side. They'll go deep while trying to find a fight and get clan. They'll. They'll. Uh, you know, everything else is just kind of boring. They want to hit that Britting kind of side of PKing, like they saw in those Bone Saw Bamf videos, 2011. They want. They want that again. So they come over and try it, and it's. Wait, who, who are we talking about, sorry, man? Yeah. Oh, just random people who uh, who played RuneScape. Talk about like bigger yeah. streamers, you know, yeah. esports guys. Oh, yeah, I they'll think, come out I of the think, category every yeah, once in a while. I think, uh, uh, like we've talked about this before, you know, I think if they focus and establish a really good way to set some sort of elo system where you can do some actual fair competitive fights with rankings and they start doing proper tournaments, you know, actual prize pools that isn't like a thousand dollars, like, you know, maybe a hundred K, like stuff like that, right? I think that would bring in a lot of people. You know what bring out. in a lot of people dude, is just dude. servers yeah. that are good. Yeah. You know what? I think what we were talking about with esports and people trying to come over to RuneScape and be competitive, I think um, one of the biggest reasons why that's never happened or it's been successful is because there is no ladder for that to happen. That's what, yeah, exactly. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't have the, the ELO system. There's nothing for them to do. They, they can't do anything. Work. There's no yeah. indication. There's no way to actually figure yeah. that out and la in unless they you want to go and play stuff. like last man standing and do that but then again it's not an accurate re representation yeah no i was thinking remember we did the whole bracket stuff like you do the you do the high level build the mid level build the low level build thing and then like they, they queue up because that's what we were thinking right we we're talking yeah, about beyond like, that all night queue up easily system, I'd be right you can night. queue up at any anywhere right and then when the yep. match is found you click in and you go in you fight the guy 
same gear, same level, whatever. It's fair every time. And then obviously the wins accumulate and your elo goes up and down based on that. And then you start fighting people that are like on your level. And then they start doing tournaments where like the top people of that, you know, whatever of that bracket, they, they do the competitions. And uh, dude, it's just so simple. But like, obviously, you got to make it, right? You got to make that system and all that stuff. So they just got to work on that. Yeah, they just got to focus on that. And then boom, you get so many people well, watching. Like, who doesn't want to watch a $100,000 plus tournament, right? It doesn't matter what game. It's just if it's like that much money at stake and the top of the top players are, are competing in it, who doesn't want to watch that? Right, it'll bring I, I, in so many people that that want to get into yeah. it. I, I think Jagex yeah. worry sometimes. Yeah. Like, I I think that sometimes they probably think a little bit. I don't know. Like, I've heard Jagex be criticized for thirty thousand, considering like some of the things that have happened during their tournaments because the way that a giveaway money has been given out in previous yeah. tournaments and like the way it works, like Dead Mode, for example. Dude, Dead Mode is just a poor Dead representation. Their mode's mode is just like yeah. a thin piece of ice, dude. Like, anything yeah. can go wrong. The servers can get DDoS. Players yeah, can get yeah. DDoS. It's De like, how, how, can they give, how can they have a hundred different. grand prize yeah. pool? Like, that, that is something to consider. If it was in more of a regulated sort of area yeah. and it was done in some sort of tournament, then I'm yep. sure they could do a hundred. Yeah, the but thing the with Demon Mode, is, the way with Demon Mode, though, it's not like, it's not properly, it's not a proper tournament, per se, because it's just like, you know, people fizzle out in a thousand, you know, out of a thousand, and then whatever, whoever's left, they just fight each other, right? But like a proper system, a proper comp a competition is about players that are already established beforehand. Do yeah. like, you know, there's the system, right? That they established, like the, high, the top of the top players, right? Those guys are already confirmed before it even happens. And then they just, you know, compete in the, in the bracket. Like that's a tournament. Devon mode is more like a, just a sausage fest, you know? Just a thousand yeah. random people. If you get lucky, you make it in, and that's it. Whereas an actual tournament with brackets is like, these people are already established. They already have high helo or whatever, right? It's like some random guy that, you know, you already know that they were good. And they're all competing for the top price, right? Like, that's a real competition. Devin Bowl wasn't like that. Dude, I want that. Like, yeah. I, I literally... I'm yeah. getting like, dude, I'm getting amped up from what you're saying, dude. You you get like, what I'm saying, right? Like no other tournament in that dude, that does these million dollar, five hundred thousand dollar. They don't they dude. don't just randomly get random people. They like it's all the people that do this system have mate, fizzled in mate, with the I high rank. I agree right? with you, dude. dude. Yeah. If I if I can go for that amped up right now, here is what this is exactly what I fucking want. Right yeah, now, that's what you need. It's I will tell it works. You, Every game I will tell has. you right yeah. now what I fucking want, okay? A PvP system, an ELO system, right? This is the problem with Last Man Standing. Last Man Standing, there you play against anybody, right? You could go into Last Man Standing, and there's 20 terrible players, there's two bots, and there's one good player versus you, okay? <laughs> two good players in the entire game. Oh, I want, <sighs> I fucking want <sighs> to go into a PvP arena fight against people where I have to fight my fucking ass off. I have to click every click perfectly. I need to read my opponent perfectly because guess what? They have figured out a way to put my skill against somebody who's matched exactly. my skill. Yeah. That's what I fucking want. I don't want to have to just kill the first five or six people in Last Man Standard and be like killing bots and then fight the actual decent person at the end. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a bad person. I want to have consistently difficult fights yeah i can actually mm -hmm. be fucking challenged that would and then it pushes you further get me back in yeah yeah that it'll push you further into the, in the bracket that's Dude, the whole i'm getting point, right? pumped thinking about that that would straight up for me be a fucking enough i wouldn't and, care and, if and there make were it easy or anything yeah That'd and make perfect. it and also make it easy like you can just queue up whenever you want right like you're just doing skilling or whatever your bank standing you just queue up for the match it's like, oh, we found someone, right? That'd be and lovely. Like, Maybe, right, right? Like, yeah, simple. Be great. And like, yeah. that idea is simple, right? Like, obviously, RNG And it would get a ton of people into PKing, too. It's like, oh, let's try this up. And it's like, oh, I'm fine. Exactly, someone just exactly. as shitty that's as me. That's what I'm saying. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If it gets so popular that all these guys, you know, they want to do extra stuff PvP-wise, they'd be like, oh, I'm going to hit up the Wilderness. I'm going to hit up Bounty Hunter or whatever. And, and you, because the thing is, it's just the PvP, PvP community is so thin. You know what I mean? It's just stretched so thin. There's like, no incentive for people to want to yeah. go into it, right? There's but, no hype like the million dollar, five hundred thousand dollar tournaments that other games have. Because like, you know, just don't have dude, it. Really. I, I can so. tell you right now, man. Like, I I think one of the biggest problems with bounty hunter and PvP, in all honesty, 
is the reason why when they up, update they update it and they bring out a update sorry um I, I think that where it has been so neglected and so little has been done to it for so long it's clearly like staggeringly behind the rest of the game look at skilling yeah. look at pbm yeah, so they've done an amazing job they haven't done anything with it which makes it 10 times worse when they try <laughs> to because it's just like okay that's maybe a baby step forward but you know what's the end game here like yeah they're just they're just they're just behind on the times man like every other competitive game knows how to keep competition going and like get people into it and it's so simple it's just Big prize pools with a good ELO system. That's all it is. You can criticize other games for like their ELO system being sometimes not being accurate, but it's good enough that it brings the top players to to the you know front when they do their tournament. And like it, you know, I mean, it shows you that when these guys are playing, you obviously know that the system didn't accidentally pick them wrong, right? They chose them because it's consistent enough that these guys are on the top are actually good. Yeah, they, they don't. You don't. You don't see a tournament that you know are million dollars and you then, can have. The system picks up shit player and is competing for a million dollars. You could have like weekly tournaments with an ELO system where it's like if you want to enter, you have to put a cash prize in. And wherever you're at in the ELO, that's the tournament you're in. The higher up tourneys be like one mil per person. Shittier tourneys be like, you might have like people who smurf, right? But other than that, you could have a ton of like just for GP cash prizes. It could be a money sink. Yeah, it just works, man. Like all those games do it, and and it works because that they, that's yeah. how they get their viewers. Like League of Legends, you know, isn't League of Legends because yeah, you know I mean, we, they did stuff like RuneScape. No, they just have a proper Elo system with proper cash pools for like the top players, and and it works every time. Like they, yeah, you know I mean, like how it's still getting hundreds of thousands of viewers on Twitch to this day. Like it's because it's competitive. It just works. Like and other, it's not just League of Legends. Any other game that has a lot of views, it's all competition. Well, let's so hope they, they implement something like that in the future because I don't want a bounty hunter four or five. Yeah, like there's no point because people just they just abuse it, and then you have to fight people that farm, and yeah. that's it. So let's summarize real quick. What what mint are we saying about the bounty hunter update? Would you say good update, bad update? Well, hmm. like oh, you know, you get the goods and the bads, like simple, I guess. I had to you rate it out of a hundred. I would rate it a seven. And that seven is because blighted pouches exist and it makes the other parts of the wild pretty sweet. Yeah. The bounty hunter itself, though, I guess it is not good. good. Yeah. No. Not even the server is good. I mean, <laughs> that itself just deserves a zero. If you can't have a good server on a main PKing world, I mean, what is wrong with you? But take that out. Yeah, seven out of a hundred. That's just because blighted pouches exist. So that's a sick item. Mm. Well, that's the good part. Yeah, yeah. there's that. Okay, fair yeah. enough. I but, think uh, I think we will set our piece. How long has it been since we've uploaded our last podcast? By the way, three four, weeks, three, three weeks. four weeks, three weeks, three, three weeks. weeks. Do you do you know why we didn't it's upload okay, for though. three it's weeks, okay. boys? Do you guys remember why? They're too good for this. There's just uh, nothing. If I, if I you recall know, correctly, worthwhile. it's because we didn't hit the like goal of a thousand likes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yes, we have a thousand people still watching. Yeah. What's <laughs> up, guys? Oh, right. man. Beautiful. All right. Au revoir.